Hey again, so, day three, huh? Wow, you're halfway through the week, which is surprising to me, given the fact that that two spooky nights fly by so fast for you. Anyways, remember when I mentioned Camp 2? Well, that's because the Jack of Freddy plush is on that camp, along with Frank and Sam. You know, the green bunny you saw on that table, or the spotlight is targeted at. He's based on the monster Frankenstein, or, more specifically, Frankenstein's monster. Anyway, he will get to you the same way as Frank Myers, so, if you see him at the right door, do what you did with Frank Myers, because, according to the 1931 movie, made by Universal, his weakness is fire, and maybe the flashlight does count as fire? I don't know. Just go with it. And with that, pretty much every scare attraction so far is coming for you. Well, and like I said, more scare attractions will be here within the coming days. So you know what you're doing. I assure you, you'll be fine. Well, uh, anyway, it's about time I tell you a story. A story about a thing called the Fazbear Halloween Cursed. You'll know what I mean by that. So, here it goes. Do you know a man named Jamie Jones? Because if you don't, then you must know that he was once a murderer. And on Halloween last year, a pumpkin head was placed onto him by the bugs, and he transformed from a human to being a half pumpkin head, half human, and half robot abomination named Spooky Jones. And ever since that happened, he's still like four kids. And guess what? Those were the spirits of the undead I was talking about. Since, like I said, their souls are haunting our scare attractions, and thought they were given that curse. The curse's purpose is to make the souls that enter those scare attractions evil. And yeah, their souls became evil if they see a human that they presume is Spooky Jones, and they will become aggressive towards anyone that they think is a threat. And the only way for them to be both free from our scare attractions and end the curse, they have to kill Spooky Jones since he was the one who murdered those four innocent kids that are now the spirits of the undead slash souls. Sorry if I've been going on for too long. So anyway, what I'm trying to say is, try to avoid death from the hands of our scare attractions or Spooky Jones, because you don't want to end up like those kids, now do you? Anyway, not rambling, I gotta go. So, good luck dude. Hope you're not freaked out by that story. <laughs> Bye.
before. I need to do it. Anyway, you told us before you left the building yesterday that you don't want to be a scarer and you ought to be a tour guide instead. So, we'll see what we can do about that. Anyway, a new scare attraction is here. Ants in your office somewhere. But don't be afraid. He's not a scare attraction to you since we turned off scare mode on him. If you're, if you're, if you're confused of, of what scare mode is, it's a mode we made for, for the first four scare attractions, the new one included, and their purpose is to, well, scare people. And hot stuff is in the name. Also, imagine a new scare attraction in your office right now as your helper of sorts. He will help you with only two things, so choose widely. So the new scare attraction's name is Eric the Scary Wolf. He does count as both a scare attraction to the patrons and a helper to you. There's a button somewhere that will activate him. Upon pressing this button, he will turn himself on and ask you what you need assistance with. And two op options will pop up. If you choose one of the options he gives you, he will perform the option you gave him and turn himself off. Unfortunately, you will only use it twice, so keep that in mind. So yeah, just use the button in case you want this thing to be a little bit easy, okay? Okay, good. So, other than that, that's it. So, so make sure to detect the cams, flash your light on the right side to both Rock Virus and Sam Frank and Sam scare Jack or Freddy on the left side of the office, and also scared with the Foxy if he is attempting to get out of his cage. So, without night guard, and be prepared for Saturday, because it'll be the spookiest day ever. You don't want to miss it, I promise you.
well, well. You made it to your fifth night. That's great. Who comes with that? The scare attraction is going to Eric. will be more aggressive tonight, so make sure you don't get killed on the job, okay? So anyway, I wish I would beat her on opening day and after your fifth night to congratulate you. But unfortunately, I might not be able to because, guess what? Spooky Jones found out about the part where the souls need to kill him in order for the curse to stop. And also, it's time to be done right now as punishment. I have to be quiet because you would hear me and kill me. And I can hear him trying to knock on the door, so I better wrap up this call quick. Anyway, he's caught on to the scare attractions and tamper with their systems, which is why I said they're more aggressive. But I did tell you that, that, they're more, that they're now aggressive towards the staff. Even you. The place is only two hours after noon. We might not have enough time to fix this problem. But if we do have time, we'll fix this problem. And along with that, their AI chips and systems as quick as possible. If I'll die soon, I will have my AI robot friend take over the next call tomorrow. His name is Jerry, the AI android, and he isn't a scare attraction at all, and, and he ain't a part of this horse Halloween attraction. I built him so that he assist me with stuff and pull my call. Sorry I didn't tell you this, this sooner. And that's about it. So, so what are we doing? Good luck tomorrow, and I, and I wish you good luck. Ah! No, no, no. Oh,